Hey, what's going on? I'm LaPrentice Sampson, and I help health conscious consumers get rid of toxic products from their life so they can achieve true wellness. In this video, we're gonna find out is crystal geyser water bad for you? All right, we're gonna go through five things that you need to know about this unique water. All right, before we get started, if you have not seen any of these videos before and you are serious about improving your health and wellness, and I highly recommend you smash that subscribe button. That way you get more tips, tricks, and tactics how to improve your overall wellness. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and pour us up some Crystal Geyser water. As we talk about the first thing, and that is antioxidants. We want to ensure that we are consuming as many antioxidants as we can. And the reason why is because of these things known as free radicals, and they are everywhere. They're in the air that we breathe, they're in a lot of the foods that we eat, they're in pollution, our cell phones. And what they do is they come in and they start taking away our electrons from our healthy cells. This, when it happens, creates oxidation and inflammation in our cells and in our body ultimately. And those two things are linked to every single health disease known to man. In fact, inflammation is just itis. So if you have bronchitis, tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, any type of itis, that's inflammation that's just happening in a specific area of your body. So all that oxidation and inflammation linked to all kinds of bad things, right? So we want antioxidants because they're going to actually give those cells the extra electron that they need to ultimately neutralize that oxidation, bring down that inflammation, and it's essentially going to be a fountain of youth. All right. So, with that being said, we want to ensure that our water is an antioxidant. Now, how do we figure that? Like, how do we how do we know? Well, we have this tool here, and it's known as an ORP meter. And ORP stands for oxidative reduction potential. You see, oxidation is positively charged. So when we actually test the water using this wand, if it shows up as a positive number, that means it's actually oxidizing us and create more sickness and dis-ease in the body. However, if we see a negative number, that means it is an antioxidant. That means it's anti-inflammatory. It's essentially gonna be that fountain of youth. So let's see what we get here when we test out the crystal geyser water. All right, what do we see here? We are seeing a 180 and it's going up, right? And it's going up because of the air. Like it's literally oxidizing. So it's making it slowly going up. Oh my gosh, it's getting up to 213, 215, right? So one of the things that to take note of is that it's actually oxidizing us. That means it's actually making your cells worse, okay? Let's take a look at this other water here and see how it does. And as you can see, it's doing a negative 795. That is a negative number. So that means it's actually an antioxidant, a very strong one at that, especially compared to the chart. You see, it's like double the, the strength of what it shows on the chart. And that means this water's gonna be really good at reducing that oxidation, bringing down that inflammation. Um, so you can essentially feel better. Not only feel better, but you can look better as well, all right? So when it comes to Crystal guys are being bad for us. The first thing we gotta keep in mind is that it is oxidizing. All right, the second thing we're gonna check out when it comes to knowing if Crystal Geyser water is bad for you is alkalinity. We wanna ensure that we're drinking water and consuming things that are alkaline. And the reason why is because our blood, our blood is gonna maintain this, but a 7.365 is what your blood must maintain. And it will, it will do that, okay? So the thing is, how is it gonna do it? Now, if we're consuming things that are alkaline, then when we take those things in, it's gonna use that to balance back. Balance the blood and keep all the acidity out of your body, okay? If you're consuming things that are acidic, right? If we are smoking, if we're doing tons of alcohol, if we're doing fast food, pollution, those kinds of things, and we don't counter it with something alkaline, then our blood, once again, it's gonna keep that pH, it's just gonna take it from us. It's gonna start taking it from our skin. This is how we get eczema, right? And 
if we continue, it's going to start taking from our bones, our joints, and our ligaments. Is how we end up cracking when we get up and we want to throw the football around, right? <laughs> and if we continue to let it happen, we get this brain fog that comes in, and then osteoporosis starts to kick in. Uh, sorry, not osteoporosis, but Alzheimer's. <laughs> Man, so um, you really want to be balancing out. There's nothing wrong with eating those acidic foods, but you want to balance it out with something that is alkaline, okay? To push out all that acidity. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use these pH drops, which are phenol red drops, to see if this water here is alkaline or acidic. Now, if we see a red or orange or a yellow, that means it's acidic and is actually eating the minerals and electrolytes in our body. If we see a blue, a purple, or a dark purple, that means it's alkaline. It's going to keep us in balance. Green is neutral. Let's we'll see what we get. I'm just putting down in that one for fun. And as you can see, it's green. It's neutral. It's, it's, a, little, it's a little bluish green. It's pretty, I would say it's like maybe a hair above neutral. So that's good for some things, but to actually battle back the acidity and all the stuff that we're eating, especially if you're in America, you want something that's stronger, okay? You want something that is going to be stronger and these are in powers of 10 so when you see neutral of a seven that means that you know that's neutral right so for an eight that means it is 10 times stronger um a nine is a hundred times stronger a 10 is a thousand times stronger when it comes to alkalinity and so you want to ensure that we're consuming things that are alkaline for us all right so the second one is that this is it's new, just a little, a little bit above neutral, all right? So let's go ahead and check out the next thing. All right, so on to the third thing about this crystal geyser water. And we want to test to see if you can actually absorb this, if the surface tension is small enough, meaning if the molecules are small enough for us to actually absorb into our cells. So we're gonna use a tea bag to test this out and see how it works, see how it does, all right? So why a tea bag? Well, tea bag is dehydrated, you know, <laughs> kind of like some of us. And our body is 75% water. And we should be able to actually feel hydrated when we're consuming our water. It shouldn't be just sitting in our stomach, like clunk clunk. It should actually be absorbing, right? It should actually go into our cells and provide the nutrients that we need and actually push out the waste that we don't need, all right? So let's see if we can make tea. All right, it's not making tea. It's starting to a little bit, maybe. But you shouldn't have to jump up and down to get tea, right? <laughs> and you're probably thinking, well, Princess, why are you trying to make tea with cold water? Well, the reason why is because our cells are like a chain link fence, all right? And if we take a beach ball and hurl it at that fence, more than likely, it's gonna come right back to us. However, if we took a marble, and threw it through that same fence, it's gonna go through it easily. And our water should be the same way. It should actually be able to push out those toxins that we're consuming. And it made a little bit, but let's just go ahead and check out this water and see how it does. It does a much better job, right? Much better at hydrating, much better at getting into the walls of that tea, like getting to the walls of your cells. So you can actually get hydrated. Now, just to show you that this is not a trick, we'll try it one more again. One more again. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And I don't know, it may be, yeah, I think the water molecules are just too big. So you're gonna end up spending more money on this water because it's not gonna hydrate you as much. You see, it's probably gonna do maybe, maybe 10%. So you have to buy more water to get the same result of this one here. Now let's say if we're taking medication, right? Let's say we're taking supplements. Let's say we're trying to improve our cooking, right? And we just use just a little bit of the supplement or just a little bit of that seasoning, right? And if we're drinking the right water, it's gonna actually bring out that flavor more. It's gonna be more impactful 
And those supplements that you're taking, they're gonna be working much better, which is ultimately gonna save you money in the long, long run. So the other thing that's bad about Crystal Geyser is just not, just doesn't absorb as well, right? So you're gonna end up spending more money, okay? Let's check out the next thing. All right, item number four is the extra ingredient that you get with this. While this water may come from Mount Shasta, guess what? The moment it's bottled and tightened up, this water starts going through a process where it starts eating away at the plastic. Where it starts eating away at the plastic. And because of that, and we don't know when we get it. In fact, this one, I can't tell. I can't tell when it was made. Um, yeah, I guess it just has to be sold by October 2022, right? So that's all I know about it. But what I, the other thing that I know is that as this water is in this plastic, it can create a carcinogen known as xenoestrogen. And 75% of men and women who have too much breast cancer in their body have too much xenoestrogen in their body, okay? So they are directly linked and I don't want you to have to go through that, okay? That's just another reason why you really shouldn't be doing any of these bottled waters. All right, on to that fifth and final reason on why crystal geyser water may be bad for you is the fact that not only is it oxidizing, which is probably the biggest thing, it's actually making us sicker. It's oxidizing. The second thing is, it's, I mean, it's slightly alkaline, just a little bit, right? It doesn't absorb though, so we're end up having to take in the barely absorbed water that also is a carcinogen that contain xenoestrogen. Last but not least is that we're paying for it. We're paying to make ourselves sicker. We're paying to take in that carcinogen and we're paying for water that doesn't hydrate us well. All right, so hopefully this video has shed some light on my test I've done on this crystal geyser water. Now, if you're looking for something more serious, I highly recommend check out my other videos. I am available on my website, laprentissampson.com. And I also have a YouTube not YouTube, well, I do have the YouTube here, but I also have a Facebook page where I show things on there that are too hot for YouTube, all right? So make sure you check those out. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks.